What's up, YouTube? We're gathered here today. Y'all got me out here at the butt crack of freaking dawn. It's 10 o'clock. I usually don't film videos at 10 o'clock because usually I'm pissed off in the mornings and I don't like to talk to people. So you should feel special that I'm here talking to you today about the CZ Shadow 2 because I did a review for y'all the other day on my Dan Wesson DWX and <clears throat> all of y'all said the Shadow 2 is a better deal and a better gun. So guess what? We went out and bought a Shadow 2 because we ain't freaking broke. Uh, because we work and we can do stuff like that. Look, Blake's just went out. Look, he shows up here. Look at this freaking crap. Look at the... He's just... He's just... All these. He bought all these. But today, we're going to talk about the CZ Shadow 2. You know, and this isn't gonna, we're, we're gonna really look at this gun uh, as a standalone, but it's gonna be in some way a direct comparison, or it's gonna be a side-by-side -side comparison with the DWX, because this is the one y'all kept telling me about. What's different about this thing, man? Well, y'all probably seen reviews on the Shadow 2 before. It's freaking been around for a long time. You've seen your other favorite YouTubers review them, but your other favorite YouTubers aren't me. Uh, they're probably a bunch of dweebs and that, broke. Don't, that don't really know nothing about guns. This thing right here, the slide, the rails on the slide are like reverse. What do you call that tech, guys? Is there a technology for that? I don't think. They it's just got, sit down in the frame yeah, rather than on top of it. Yeah, it's got that new slide technology. That's what this one's got. Uh, tech guy has put this... Big old honking ugly safety selector on this thing, which is necessary. It looks like crap. That 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 looks like crap. But you have to have it on there because the the safety that comes on this thing is so small, you can't hit it. Especially if you get your thumb bandaged up like I do, <laughs> that'd be a bad deal. Uh, he has also put the Cajun Gunworks trigger in this thing which all of y'all recommended. And he's also put these fancy new grips on it. So that's what's going on with this joker right here. I'll tell you straight off the bat, I've never shot this gun before. We're about to go out here and run it here in just a second. I've never shot it before. But straight off the bat, as I pulled this thing out and, and messed with this trigger, I want you to look, when I press this trigger, there's a little creep in this hammer. It's almost like it, it draws the hammer back. Watch this. Are you zoomed in on that tech guy? Watch the hammer as I press it. Now there's not much take up in that trigger. You see that? There's a little creep. It creeps that hammer back. Because it's double action also. This is double action? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was, I, I didn't know you bought the double action single action. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, because this one obviously is a clean break. There's no creep in that hammer. So right off the bat, I didn't necessarily like that. But let's go out and shoot it, run it a little bit, see how it works. And uh, we'll, what then we'll do, you know, we got to do our accuracy test. We, was, we, we had a hit at 150 with this thing. So let's see, we'll see how this thing shoots. Let's go out and run this thing a little bit and see how how it works turds are you recording we're out here on the range by the way them targets right there is for sale again i had chili order y'all a bunch of them targets so if you want our readiness standard target they're on the website now uh there's a video blake attached a link to the video in this of how that target's meant to be used all right there's a whole set of standards that go along with that target it's on the website go look at click yeah. the link on the website anyways turds I've never shot this thing. What what did you zero this thing at? Uh, I think it's 15. You probably didn't even zero it, so you make me look like a fool on the <laughs> I on camera it. here. Uh, you know, a lot of y'all dummies are saying like, oh, show your group. Show your grouping. I don't have a freaking grouping, man. I put rounds through the same freaking hole. That's why we don't show my grouping on the target. I put rounds through the same hole. When, that's that's the way it is. Uh, this, I've never shot this thing before. I'll shoot a little group right here. We'll see what it looks like. All 
right, let's show YouTube the freaking group. Since they're a bunch of daggone whiny babies. There's the dang group, man. You don't need to see my freaking groups. Y'all turds know I'm the best shooter around. Uh, you know, this gun don't really shoot that good. It's a little jumpy. <laughs> well, well, we'll run it. We'll run it through its paces, though, for a minute. You know, it's a... Uh... Um, that trigger is pretty good. Ah, uh, you had any malfunctions with this thing? Not yet. Oh, that slide just went forward when I slammed that mag home. It'll do that. The DWX don't do that. Don't. Um. Yeah, there ain't, there ain't much. There ain't much take up in that trigger. It's just a little too snappy for me, man. <laughs> Thing's got a lot of daggone recoil. A lot of recoil in that pistol. Uh, all right, we're gonna go load the mags up and then we'll do our accuracy test. All right, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna hit our accuracy test on this CZ. Uh, a lot of y'all are asking me about these bullets that we use. Look, I told y'all before, we use whatever's the cheapest bullets we can find. We pay for our own dang on bullets. Um, how are we able to, look here, Blake, these bullets right here got more of a copper color to them. Cheapest thing around. Yep. Them right there are gold. Look, it's just a mix, all right? Uh, y'all might wonder, well, what the crap, man? You know, how, how is it possible to, look at all these guns. Look, man. First form sponsors these episodes so we can bring this stuff to you. Y'all know the deal. I've told y'all you need to unfat yourself many times. You need to be fit. You need to be strong in order to be effective with these weapons. First form has products that are going to help you get in shape. This is the formula, formula One protein. This is what I use every single day because you need protein. If you got weak baby arms and freaking stick legs and, uh, you know, you get out here on the range and a stiff wind begins to blow you over, it's because you're skinny, weak, uh, and you don't have enough muscle. So build some muscle when you work out you need to drink protein after, right after you're done so your muscles build back better. Build back better. That's the Joe Biden plan. Build back, work out, drink your protein, man. Look, first form. Awesome people, they like guns too. That's why they sponsor this channel. Y'all know not many companies will sponsor this channel because that's, they don't, they don't want to be tied in with, uh, with, you know, good red-blooded American redneck type stuff. First of all, likes guns too. I guarantee you that. Get you some. Check them out. We'll put a link in the show notes here. Go get you some protein. Work out. Drink your protein. Then go shoot. All right? So I actually brought out a rangefinder. For you freaking crybabies. This is a Vortex Ranger 1800. Because I told y'all on the last video that my steps were longer than a yard. So as we work our way back, we'll actually be able to range it now and see what our actual yardage is. Did you paint that silhouette? No. 
We ain't painting it, man. This silhouette here is seasoned. Y'all see? All right, just to give you some, some interest on how big this is, I'm a full-size man. That's how big this is, all right? That'll give you a little context. So, y'all know the drill here. One. Ten. Hopefully we can hit, hopefully we can hit at 10 yards. <clears throat> I don't think this thing is going to be near as accurate as the DWX, to be honest with you. Uh, I actually brought iPro today. Look at there. All right. All right. Here we go at 10. Eight, nine, 20. Y'all think this thing's gonna be as accurate as the DWX? Drop it in the comments. Place your bets. This, this thing doesn't even have a match grade barrel, man. 20. It's 30. You know, this gun does feel pretty good in the hand. 40. Uh, I like those grips. I, I was bragging on them red grips on that DWX, but I like these grips better. That, that it feels good in the hand. 40. <laughs> I don't like that safety. The, the safety on the DWX is, is better. It's got a more positive click to it. What are we at, 50 here? <laughs> 60. <laughs> this is 70. For all y'all that said we had chili in the, <coughs> in the bushes, Banging a freaking red, uh, banging a pan on the last video to make it look like we were hitting that target. Well, that ain't true. Chili ain't even here today. He woke up this morning having a puking fit. <laughs> what are we at? 70 here? <laughs> 70. 80. All right, we'll, we'll range here at 80 and see what our actual distance even is. This is 80 of my steps. Eighty-four yards is our actual distance right here. Eighty-four yards. Ninety, probably really like a hundred. <laughs> we'll call it ninety. That was a hit. Was it? I, the silhouette moved. It must have just barely skimmed it. I didn't hear it. Did you? Mm -mm. Try that again. Yeah, it must have, that last one was just, I just saw the silhouette move, but that was definitely a hit. Get a shot at that pretty truck right there. Yeah. Uh, that is a, land, a 1983 Land Cruiser FJ60. A lot of y'all asked me about that truck. There's a video of when we went to pick that truck up. It's fully restored. 
That's my dream truck. I'll probably give it away to somebody one day. <clears throat> Keep, stay tuned. You might get that truck one day. Uh, we're at 90. I don't, I don't think this pistol's gonna shoot that far, Blake. There, here's a hundred, probably. Probably like a hunt, more like a hundred and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 110. Y'all want me to range it? Probably like 140. All right, I'll range it. 110. My steps, anyways. I'm showing 115. <clears throat> but we're going to call it 110. Hit at 110. Here's 120. <clears throat> Dang, eyes are watery in the morning. I just freaking woke up, man. Here it is, 1020 out here. <sighs> Did that hit? I didn't hear it. Low. That was low? Yeah. Yeah, this gun starts to get pretty accurate. I mean, pretty inaccurate around 120 yards. <laughs> you know what, man? All that stuff y'all see, all that stuff y'all see online about waking up early and like waking up at four o'clock and stuff, that's the biggest crock of bull crap I ever heard in my life, man. You don't wake up that early. Don't nobody wake up that stinking early. If you do, you're a daggone idiot. You look, here's the best. I'm gonna give y'all a life tip here. Uh, do as the chickens do. All right. When the chickens start to get ready to go up to the coop, you need to start winding down. Get to bed about an hour or two after dark and then wake up as the sun is rising when the chickens wake up you don't need to wake up at four o'clock in the morning that's stupid i'll try this again here This gun's all over the place. <laughs> this gun won't even shoot at 120 yards, man. So there, there it is, 120. That's the max effective range of this gun. So we see the difference here between a, a good gun like a Dan Wesson DWX that shoots 150 yards and this thing right here won't even hit at 120 yards. It's all over the place. It look, I, I could see the bullets splashing out there. It looks like a shotgun. That ain't me. That's the gun. You bunch of idiots. So now we're, we're going to go. We're calling this at 120. The gun won't hit at 120. It won't hit the target. Okay? So we're going to go down here and dual wield these guns and really see which one's better. We know which one's more accurate. That thing is crap, Blake. <laughs> now look, I'm going to teach y'all something real quick. Left hand draw from the right side, all right? Did y'all see that? That's the form, all right? Now here we're going to get down to the bottom of this. Which of these guns... We're going to dual wield them. Which one is actually better? So now I'm picking up my red dot in my left eye and my other red dot in my right eye. That's an, see, I can see 
both red dots at the same time because I've got two eyes. See, look at this. Watch, watch this gun. Watch how much recoil this gun has compared to this. This gun has so much recoil I can't even hardly hold it on the target. You see that? Watch, I shoot them both at the same time. Look at that. This thing comes, look at that. Good night, son. I don't know about this thing, Blake. <laughs> way too, uh, this thing's way too finicky. We're gonna put it for sale. The verdict is in. All of y'all YouTubers that said this Shadow 2 was a better pistol with this Cajun Gunworks trigger and all, we just proved you wrong here today on the channel. So put that in your fr freaking pipe and smoke it shove it up your badongas and get on somewhere else go watch your other youtubers right they'll tell you what you want to hear we tell you what you need to hear enough said <laughs>